Shalom and welcome back. Today is day 31 of Renewing Your Mind with Scripture. And today's passage is Philippians 1 verse 6. It says, Being persuaded of this, that he who has begun a good work in you shall perfect it until the day of Yeshua Messiah. How many of you struggle with feeling, am I ever going to make it? Um, am I going to see Yeshua Messiah? Um, you know, we feel so imperfect. And like I said previously, perfection is not what Father wants. Because He knows we are human. We are not perfect. But He does want righteousness. And yes, we are going to fall. We're going to make mistakes. And sometimes I go through the Torah portion. I go from one festival to another festival. And the whole thing with the festivals is you, you don't... The way you go in, you shouldn't come out the same. We should all learn something from it. We should be maturing each and every year. Each and every festival, we should be maturing ourselves, laying down more flesh. And sometimes I get to, to one of the festivals um, and I just go, Oh, Father, it's like I've learned something new. And I go, am I ever going to be righteous enough for you? Am I ever going to get this right? And I just want to say to you that you shouldn't be feeling anxiety because of that. You shouldn't be hard on ourselves. And yes, it depends on your personality type. I'm the personality type where I'm very hard on myself. And I have a very high expectations of myself. So it's sometimes very hard for me. And I know there are a lot of you out there as well. So I just want you to stand on this passage where it says that Abba Father has begun a good work in you and shall perfect it until the day of Yeshua Messiah. You need to just constantly be before Father and going, I lay down my flesh for you. Every morning, stand up, dedicate the day and your life afresh to Abba Father and walk with that purpose that you are there to please him and walk in righteousness. You can only do it one day at a time. Don't Worry about yesterday. Learn from yesterday. Ask for forgiveness. Do repentance. But move forward. Don't live in the past. Forgive yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Know that we cannot do it in our own strength. We have to do it with the leading of the Holy Spirit. But it doesn't help you just say that, you know, you just say, oh, well, I'm not perfect. I'll never get it right. And just live like you want. That's not what I'm saying. That is... So not what I'm saying. We have to constantly be submitting ourselves to Abba Father and trusting Him that He's going to keep teaching us and keep guiding us and leading us. But that can only happen with submission. So let's pray. Father, I don't want to come to the end of my life here on earth, however short or long that may be, and be ashamed of not finishing well. Today I purpose and declare that I will leave that in your hands. You have promised you will finish what you have started in me and through me. I leave all anxiety about that behind and determine to focus only on what you put in front of me today. The results are up to you. Thank you, Abba Father, for your peace in my everyday life. In Yeshua's name, Amen. May you be blessed. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 32 of Renewing Your Mind. Shalom.